driving north of uh, Bakersfield, and they just have the coolest uh, landscaping here. They have flowers all through the medians, and then these huge monkeys, sycamores. One of them I saw back there had to have like a five or six foot DVA. It was just awesome. California? You are cooler on this side of the mountain. Absolutely. You might redeem yourself yet. That's the plan. <laughs> Thank you. 
kill ID. If you can't bury him in I space, think that was a dingo. then bury us together side by side. It'd be romantic. Or you could pose us cuddling. Yes, it's always romantic to, uh, <laughs> to rot together. It is. It's like eternal sleep. We won't yes. know we're rotting. We'll decompose. The worms will crawl through both of us. Aww. That's so sweet. Okay, we're going to go before we think of more morbid ways for our bodies to decompose. Bye. Alright, we have made the final turn. This is the road that takes us to Sequoia National Park. I've never been so excited about anything ever. Look at these mountains. They're huge. This is the greatest day of my life. Almost. Mar uh, day I got married. Right, that was better. Right, right. <laughs> but, oh, I'm going 80. Getting excited. <laughs> See, there's a break in the trees up here. These mountains are gigantic. Look at these mountains. Holy cow. We've been kind of going along next to them and then we turned in and this is awesome. There's peaks in there over 13,000 feet. Yep. Which is not where we're going because that's really high. <laughs> Obvious. For those of you in the know, this is the, uh, also known as the spine of the world where the Aiel poured over to kill King Layman. For his pride. Yeah, because it cut down the tree of life. If you don't know what that means, too bad. <laughs> I don't know. Why are, are we still recording? Oh yeah, I'm, rec I'm filming your excitement. College of Sequoias? Why did I go to Texas A&M University? <laughs> I could have gone to College of Sequoias. That would have been cooler. That would have been much cooler. for the mountains. Yes, please. We are now in Sequoia National Park, Yay. making our way up to the visitor center where we can check in or whatever we have to do. We finally made it. It took us, let's see, 1,800 miles. The car is working hard to get up this mountain. Oh yeah. of the beauty that we're seeing, even though I'm on the verge of car sickness, so I can't really film well. Oh, you can see I'm on the edge, up on the ridge there, the giants, they are waiting. here up up the switchbacks and there's construction and they're not letting people through again till noon it's 10 10 right now so we went back down to a little pull out and uh, we're just gonna I don't know sit here look around yeah it's really pretty it's a good place for a picnic yeah it smells really good here kind of like sweet spring smell like, like we used to get in Anchorage
Yeah. There's a bear right here while we're waiting to go back up after the construction. He this just... little bear came down, this little like cinnamon brown bear. I think it might be a cub, it's very little. Yeah, I know. I'm we're ready to close the door like ASAP. Oh gosh, a car's coming back down. I think it's gonna scare off our little bear friend. You guys right by a bear. Wow, those people just drove right by it and didn't even flinch. I'm like so ready for a mama bear to charge out. I can't I'm not sure how big these bears get, so it's just munching on grass. I saw something brown and furry. I thought it was like a squirrel and <laughs> it comes out of the woods. It's definitely not a squirrel. Okay, so a ranger came by and saw the bear and stopped and like chased the bear off. Which I guess is good. We want him to be scared of people and to avoid interaction. We weren't prepared to chase the bear because, um, well, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a good idea to chase a bear. So I guess she's a trained chair, chair baser? No, bear, bear chaser. chaser. Well, and, we didn't uh, know if it was a cub yeah, with the mom. I can't see it anymore, so I guess it took off. Yeah, it wasn't very big. And it was, it was very brown. Yeah. I, I understand black bears don't have to be black, but all the ones I've seen were black. So that was cool. It did look so cuddly. I couldn't tell who she was at first, that she was a ranger. I thought she was some crazy lady. She was just like, Woo! She just like jumped out of the car and was like, yeah. BOOM! And we almost got hit. There was like 10 people in line with her. And I one of them just stopping like, and right in front of us. Yeah, they all were like, ah, a bear. We were like, more like accidentally saw a bear. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, look, I saw something small and furry <laughs> behind that bush. And I was like, oh, really? Maybe I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> And so we stand there, and all of a sudden a bear emerges, and we're like, uh, that is not small. Well, it was small. Like for small a for a bear. I thought it was like yeah. a raccoon or something. That was awesome. Yes, yeah, so we're going to stay in the car. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to hang out in the car until we can go through the pass. Yeah, because I don't think most people hang out right here, so the bears probably aren't used to avoiding this area. That was cool, though. Very cool. Hey. Okay, after two hours of waiting, oh my gosh, for them to open the road up. Okay, like on waving duty. Yeah, <laughs> we're like so bored of just sitting here. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that overlook. I mean, it's, oh, well, it's gorgeous, going. but we've been sitting here forever. Look at that. Oh, I'm getting this flower down. So anyway, we're glad to be moving again. And now we're probably maybe a uh, 20 minute drive from... Mercy sakes alive, we got us a calm <laughs> <laughs> From our campsite. I'm gonna kill where this we car. will be able to... Oh God, you people. Just sit for a moment. We're not gonna sit. We're gonna park and put all our stuff in bear boxes to avoid any more bear attention. And then we're going to hike to see General Sherman. Tell them how excited you the are. Shermanator. Yay! It's gonna be awesome, because it's the biggest life ever. Yes. Or at least right now. Yes, so we are very excited, but he's got to pay attention because... His largest branch is seven feet in diameter. That is a big tree. Yeah, and its branches are tiny compared to its trunk. The diameter of its trunk at, at breast height is 36 or 35 feet. It's insane. That is crazy. It's well over 300 feet tall. It's awesome. Yeah, so we will be back to show you the tree of awesomeness. Yeah. Okay, we are up really high. I'm not sure if we're gonna get another opening for you to see, but see right there. This is huge country we're in. Oh yeah, we're getting into big trees. We can't even see the valley floor anymore. still slow going even though we made it through the construction. Now we're lined up behind a bunch of people. Only traffic. Our whole trip is here in the middle of nowhere on top of a mountain. What's up with that? Oh, I have to pee. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't had a bathroom in many hours. It's a pretty, pretty desperate situation. We were gonna go pee 
and then there was a bear. <laughs> and we decided against wandering off in the woods. Actually, I was like, why don't you go on up there behind that bush? And then a bear came out from behind the bush. She's like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened. He tried to get me killed. Uh, yeah. Or even worse, expelled. expelled. <laughs> the giant forest is the greatest place on earth. These trees are so huge. <laughs> We're having a hard time staying on the road because we're watching the giant trees. I know, you suck for being a passenger. Well, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. You can't even see the top of it from the car. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that made the whole long wait needing to be so bad worth it because it's awesome. This is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me, to be in this place. General Sherman. I don't know if we're gonna be able to tell that it's him though. The ridges in the bark are bigger than our trees. It's not true, but some of them. Yeah, I know. What is that thing? Is it a skyscraper? It, it's a tree. This is oh, so cool. My ears keep popping. This tree, this, tree. this tree has a cave in it. <laughs> Still. Yes, we're gonna be cold tonight. I'm gonna be putting on my hiking boots before we take out walking. It's a big tree. I wonder if there's gonna be any more big ones. Yeah. Boom. Look. We're. Wait. This got weird. Okay. Just okay, so pay attention to the driving. There's all these burn marks. They must have a lot of fires coming through here. It's huge. Every every tree is the biggest tree I've ever oh, seen. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh my Sorry in advance that this video is crazy, but we're keeping it because this is, it, like this the is awesome. Legends, you expect to see like David the gnome tran prance across. <laughs> Can you imagine one of these falls? Gosh. Yes, but if we're not here, did it make a noise? Yes, I think it did because it would shake the earth. Yes, it it's huge. Also, squirrels can hear. I think that's just a stupid question. I want to tell me. Okay, we're on the General Sherman Trail. This is awesome. It's very icy. No, yeah. There's no parking. I think we got here a little soon. That's so pretty. I just touched the tallest species on here. Not tallest, but biggest. Wait. This is monumentous for other reasons. Snow. I touch snow. These trees are freaking huge. General Sherman's back through there. This is General Sherman. The largest tree. And then I want to take a picture. And it is impossible to even see it past the first set of branches. Okay. Okay, here's General Sherman from the other side. It is huge. Insanely huge. I have him on camera. <laughs> All right, we're at General Sherman. Yes, here we stand on the hallowed ground. We're standing over the root system right now. I can feel its ancient life force pulsing beneath me. <laughs> Not really. Yes, really. Oh. Okay. I can. He's it's gifted a, that way. It's a forester thing. Look, 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 just look. I don't even know what to say. Holy cow.
tree is huge. You make a lot of toothpicks out of that tree. Uh, you'd feel forever guilty every time you cleaned your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> well, we decided not to camp in the snowiness. We're going to go down a little bit. It's too cold. We're not ready for it. Because there's a lot of snow and there's no people at that campground, which mm. is probably not safe. So We're going to head down the mountain a bit and we'll let you know what we find. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it. The snow makes that crunching noise here. I love that noise. I never get to hear it anymore. Seriously large bear. Shh, I'm trying to hear the snow. Make it a crunching noise. Justin is now counting the age of the tree. 892, 893. <laughs> no! Two. We're gonna be here forever. Three. Don't mess up my counting, okay? Two. Okay, we are now traveling away from General Sherman in the Giant Forest. That's what it's called, the Giant Forest. It's a pretty good name. And now I don't know where we're going. Now we're looking for somewhere to camp out of the snow, so we're just kind of... Oh, yeah. Going back down the other side. But every tree here is awesome. It's just unbelievable. And the saplings are huge. We are now at 7,000 feet. Nice. And my ears just popped. Hey, mine too. <laughs> Sweet. Aw, Twinkies. Aw. 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 Yes, so we are charging the battery on the camera so we can give more updates later. I will say, all that time spent in the desert, totally worth it. Yes. Absolutely. This is gorgeously awesome. And yes. so much fun. It's awesomely gorgeous too. And we found winter, which we haven't experienced in years. Years. Four years, maybe more. Red fur mittens. So it's awesome to also have winter on our summer vacation. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but these trees have snow on them. I'm snow deprived. These are pretty trees. I don't know what they are. Do you know what kind they are? Well, a lot of them are ponderous. Really pretty. These trees are growing out of the rocks. It's pretty awesome. We were having a great day and we ate, which is making me feel better. Yes, a little more grumpy. Yes, I get grouchy if I don't eat. Grouchy uh. crust blue. <laughs> there are so many awesome trees that yes. I can't even figure out where We are this overwhelmed. Can't be real. This, is, this is not real. All I can do is babble. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -uh. Things are awesome. Oh, I came up. Okay. Forgot it. Came up with a word you forgot. I came up with a word because we it realized was like, that there's no good way to describe the like majesty of this place. It was like obelisk sleeky club. Obelisk. I think that it was close to it. Obelisk. These trees are so impressive that they are a very special word that is only used for them, and that is obelisk. <laughs> Ish. Obelisk. Ish. Obelat. Obelat. Something like that. Obble a little? Obble a little. Yeah. Ish. Unt. Unt. Obble a little ish. Sounds like opalescence. No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. We, we figured out what the word actually is for the greatness that is this place. It's mega arbidendrosilvic. That's the word. That's the word. This place. Megarbidendrosilvic. It's beautiful here. We've got all these trees dusted in this gorgeous snow, and it's beautiful. Yes. And we don't even know where we're going to stay tonight, but this drive is so awesome, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I 
cow. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> it would be unlikely to see a cow. It would be unlikely. King's Canyon Overlook. This is King's Canyon Overlook. We're not really going into the King's Canyon Park. I guess maybe we'll cross into it a little bit. Wow. That is gorgeous. Okay, there's been an exciting development on our trip. Our trip now has a mascot. A baby giant sequoia. Yes! There it is. <laughs> it's about four or five inches tall. And it could be the next General Sherman. We decided it needs a name. And all the big trees are named after presidents. There's the Sherman tree. And then we're about to see the Grant tree. So we had to pick, you know, this needs to be named after a, a president. So we've decided to name it. W. <laughs> our mascot for our trip that could live for thousands of years. Meet W. All right. Okay, we are at Grant's Grove, or Grant's Tree, crossing a cute bridge over this wonderfully babbling brook of awesomeness. And it is gorgeous out here. Just incredibly gorgeous. What an awesome day. Okay, this is a giant stump of the Michigan tree. Look at that. All the way up there. No sense of scale. All the way down there. There's Justin. See, he's tiny. Right. Or the tree is huge. <laughs> It's amazing. Size. Yes, you are. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> he touched that, but those fingers are sticky. Yeah, that's true. Well, that Aggie ring soaks up coal. <laughs> Look at this tree. It's big. Goes and goes and goes. Really and goes and goes that's and goes. That's actually the best view of one of the giant ones. I yeah, I did. Go down there, I'll get you a picture of this. That is okay, there's this giant fallen log here, you know, sequoia. And then you come over here, and you're like, what? It's hollow inside. And Justin is standing inside it taking pictures, and it's kind of creepy. Oh, stay there. Okay. Watch for bears. This is awesome. <laughs> Hi. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking my picture. Okay. I'm gonna go over the end. Okay. I'm coming too. No, stay there. What? Wait, how big is it? Whoa. This tree keeps going and going. Okay. Okay, we're making our way through the tree. It's snowing in this hole. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's kind of dark. You can't really see the ground because the monitor's still like my eyes. Can you see that? That's so awesome. In this hole, there's snow falling. We are inside a giant sequoia. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, we are definitely inside. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That's so cool. Oh, I do some pictures like this. If you come back, you can kind of see the snow going. Oh, there's a giant one right there. I just love that. That's so cool. This charged all the way up again. It charges really fast. Yeah, it does. It's good. We are inside a silk oil looking at other ones. Yes. This day rocks. Uh, 
Okay. Continuing our journey through the tree. This is the greatest place on earth. What's this thing? <laughs> Let's not push the support beams. <laughs> Ah, we came in the backside, so we didn't even know what we were looking at. It was a shelter. These guys lived in it. Whoa, cool. Use the log as a house and a saloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I would love to have and a And the gift Calvary used it as a tree, as a stable. This place is cool. Yeah, stay to the right. Okay, we're just driving this way, back down the mountain, trying to get out of the snow before we find a place to stay. But it is actually snowing and it's gorgeous. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it is beautiful. Today has rocked. Okay, we are coming back out on the other side now and have this beautiful view. I don't even know if you can possibly fathom it from this camera, but this is gorgeous. Hello! Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> no, it's night of the fourth day of our tree pilgrimage. Yes. And we're in, where are we? We're in Fresno. Fresno. We're yes. in Fresno. At a hotel. Yes. Again. Okay, this camping trip so far we haven't camped. Yeah, well, it's not. A, it's a pilgrimage. It's a pilgrimage. Sometimes pilgrims don't camp. Sometimes. Sometimes they stay in hotels. Yes, because there's snow everywhere. And then when you come down off the mountain to get out of the snow, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Then there are no campgrounds. Mm-hmm. And so then you find yourself in a city, and it's getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> and so you get a hotel. Yeah. So Which here actually we are. turned out great because we got beer and we got burgers yeah. and we got these. Chocolate. Chocolate. This beer is pretty good though. It's a hip or something from Oregon. Yeah. So, yeah, we were watching our videos and chilling. Yes. And tomorrow's Yosemite. Tomorrow's Yosemite. Which I'm super excited and about. And more sequoias. Yes. The Mariposa Grove. And then we're going to hike. Hopefully we'll do the big loop thing if it's not too crazy and snowy. And we'll get to see all the big stuff. There's a caterpillar in the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here it comes. It's kind of creepy. It's not very fuzzy for a caterpillar. <laughs> It's summer. Oh. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Caterpillars look the same all times of year. Until they're butterflies. Anyway, despite the caterpillar on the screen, we're going to try to see, you know, El Capitan and the whole Yosemite Valley overlook thing. Which I really hope works out because I've always wanted to see it. So yeah. We're going to go have more beer. Catch the end of Crocodile Dundee here. And turn off the worm. Aww. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Ah, no. Uh, where is the button on this? <laughs> Dang,